Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So I thought it would be fun. I am going to be cooking a one skillet dinner recipe tonight. I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me and share this recipe with you. This is a really flexible recipe, something that you can interchange different things with, different veggies, different meats if you would like to, but mine, my favorite is just the one I'm doing tonight. So, but feel free to mix it up if you would like. This recipe is super easy. It's really, really delicious. A really nice uh, comfort food on those gloomy, chilly winter evenings. One of the things I love most about this recipe is everything is cooked in just one pan. So it really um, eliminates all the dishes and the mess in the kitchen so that you can just relax after dinner is done. This is kind of a recipe that I use when I have leftover chicken. So just last night, we did a chicken roast and we had a ton of meat left over, so I deboned it and I have it sitting in the fridge in a Tupperware for tonight's recipe. So it's just a really quick, easy dinner. It's a great way to use up some leftover chicken if you have any. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you guys what ingredients you're gonna need. We're gonna cook up this one skillet dinner recipe. All right, so the ingredient list for this recipe is pretty easy. You definitely don't need the helicopter and the cool dude sitting up front unless you want it. <laughs> You're gonna need about two cups of grated cheddar cheese and then three and a half to four cups of a chicken broth or I've got some homemade chicken stock here that I canned up last summer. And then you're gonna want at least one to two cloves of garlic, one cup of uncooked long grain rice, and then you're gonna need about one pound of chicken. Like I said, this is leftover chicken from last night, but you can use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. You're also gonna need salt and pepper, of course, and a little bit of olive oil for this recipe, about half of a large onion diced up, and then about two cups or so of fresh broccoli florets and that's all there is to it. And I will be sure as always to link this recipe for you guys in the description box of the video.
So this is what we've got going on over here. Big, huge, thousand piece puzzle. Isn't this pretty? Joe got this. Makes me think of the Alaska cabin. What are those little chickadees? So cute and cozy. It's gonna be us one day, babe. <laughs> birds. Someday soon. Birds, we're gonna be birds. We'll be old birds one day, right? I'm not really the puzzling type. It's kind of like crocheting a blanket. I wanna do it. It looks fun. I'll even start doing it and it'll be fun for a little while and then Sorry. it'll be fun for a little while and then I lose interest really fast. But I am going to try to help Joe out with this puzzle. But he looks at me today when he gets home from work and he's like, what's up, babe? You didn't work on this today? <laughs> like, yeah, like in between homeschooling and what, laundry, paying bills, <laughs> I don't have time to sit down and do a puzzle. And even if I had free time, it's like I just collapse on the couch and rest my eyes for a bit. But I think it'll be really pretty when it's done. So I am going to try to sit down and help him because we are trying not to watch as much TV. We kind of got back into a bad habit again of watching a little too much TV in the evenings. And I really do like the quiet time together, playing cards at the table with Parker, reading books, doing a puzzle, things like that. It's like painting. It's like painting? It's from the start. You don't do it. Oh, but see, I could paint. I could paint until I finish I the picture. Paintbrush. Oh, so you're talking man painting, like painting a house. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with you there. After you cut in, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> Hire, hire a crew to come on in and wrap it up. Oh, somebody's pitching a fit. Are you mad, Leo? Leo's grounded from going outside at night because he tried to run away and explore in the forest, didn't you? Mm-hmm. No, sir, you may not go outside. Mm-hmm. There's something out there called predators. You don't know nothing about that because you're an indoor kitty. Do you want to show everybody what you got with your money today? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Was it like Jurassic Park? No. No? But there's it's dinosaurs, a, right? It's this one's an animal. Oh. This one's got a winch on the bottom. Now. A winch? So you can like pick it up or what? Yeah. Very and cool. And that too, to hold it like this. And then it came with a baby hippo and a lion. Show me how you pick up the net with the animal in it. Okay. Let's see you do a rescue mission. Ten four, good buddy. We've got a tiger or baby hippo. Got a baby hippo in distress. Don't worry, I got him. Meep. Hurry, there's no time to spare. Okay. It's gonna take me a second. Get the hook to the hole. In rescue missions, buddy, there are no seconds. Every second is a life. Oh, so you hook them on the little hooks. Very yeah. cool. Got to make your helicopter noise. Very cool. You saved him.
Take three. Thank <laughs> you.